Hey guys, what's up? Toba Logo here. Today we are back with our subscriber World Cup for the month of February 2022. It's been a long time. I think the last one we did was like, what was it, like the 1st of January? And it feels like January has dragged on so long, but we're finally into February, the month of Lunar New Year and um, the month of love for Valentine's Day. And since I love you all so much, we're going to do a World Cup where basically we got our entries in for the first subscriber world cup and then the 12 people who got eliminated in the group stages will drop down into the second chance subscriber world cup so we're going to have a double winner today um in this world cup so hopefully you guys look forward to it but let's get round to the 32 names that actually did make it for the first World Cup, which is the actual subscriber World Cup. So Moldova is old Joe 90. Thailand is uh, England Ball Gaming. Canada was a triple entry. Wasabi 1982-1. Ryan Bromhead and Cutter Historical. Indonesia was uh, Mohamed uh, Milana. Um, Germany is Dennis and um, Tony is bad at football and. Um, uh, someone doesn't know how to kick a ball. Oh, Daniel doesn't know how to kick a ball. Sorry. So that's triple entry. Uh, Austria is F1 kid. Nigeria is Bulgaria, which is strange. Strange name, but okay, we move on. Russia is Spoonie HD. In Group C, we have Fiji, represented by half time substitution. Scotland is um, Shiny Bidoof. Uh, Kyrgyzstan is Dando1201. Chad is a double, double entry, sorry. Foot V. And um, ready to step. Group D, the Netherlands is represented by uh, Dasika. England is a double entry, Eminem Gaming, and Arthur plays my United fan. Uruguay is Edu Games 4000, and France is Madman E. In Group E, we have Malaysia represented by Mass Football TV, uh, Syria represented by Ryubix. Seychelles represented by Palomo and Australia represented by Road to Qatar 2022. Uh, group F, UAE is represented by FB7 Games. Serbia, Mario Maroquin. Poland, Marek Rosiak. And USA, um, Stephen Cruz. Group D, Switzerland is represented by Fernando Pestana. Azerbaijan is Unonomel. Uh, Wales, Wasteland Wanderer. Honduras, Joshua Rodriguez, and in Group H we have Brazil, represented by RVD Rob, uh, 1986, Portugal, Austin Hayhurst, Italy, Patrick Mealy, and Mexico was a double entry, is Sad Joel, and Retro Sports plus more. So you all know who you are since you put your entries in. So this is the first one, this is the actual one, and like I said, the 12 eliminated teams, in, no not 12, sorry, the 16 eliminated teams in the group stages that didn't get out will filter down to the second chance subscriber world cup so that means that everybody gets to play at least once or twice if you're eliminated player so as you can clearly see i am following brazil because they are a big nation and they're in group h which is at the end so you know the drill by now we simulate the three games we look at the group stages and then we keep going all the way to the end unless we get knocked out. So the first match is Brazil versus Portugal. Who's going to win that one? Let's find out. Simulate that one. That one belongs to Brazil. 2-0. Nice little win for Brazil there. Okay. On the blocks there. Okay. Brazil versus Italy now. Who will win this one? Some of the big teams have harder groups because obviously they're bigger teams. Um, so uh, Italy took that one. 1-0. One okay. So Brazil only have three points. That's fine. Um, they go against Mexico, which I reckon that Mexico will lose that one. If Brazil lost it, that would be a massive disappointment for Brazil. Let's simulate that one. Um, Brazil lost in that one. So Brazil managed to get through with only three points. That is mad um, because Brazil do have a fixture at the bottom. So then let's have a look at the group stages and see who got through in our World Cup. So uh, Canada and Moldova went through. Group B, Germany and Russia went through. Group C, Scotland and Fiji went through. Group D, Netherlands and France went through. Group E, Australia and Syria went through in that one. Group F, the United States and Poland went through. Serbia just missing out on goal difference, presumably. Uh, group G, Switzerland and Wales going through in that one. And in Group H, Italy and Brazil 
going through in that one, Portugal and Mexico must have missed out on goal difference, like by a couple of goals or something. That was a very close group. Let's have a look at our round of 16. So we've got Canada versus Russia, Scotland versus France, Germany versus Moldova, uh, Netherlands versus Fiji, Australia versus Poland, Switzerland versus Brazil, USA versus Syria, and Italy versus Wales. Okay, so now that we've found out our 16 teams that have gone to the round of 16 and the 16 teams that will be joining us in the second chance subscriber world cup let's see who actually wins this first subscriber world cup which is the main subscriber world cup so brazil have got a match against switzerland let's see if brazil can get past switzerland or can switzerland cause an upset let's go oh wow okay right switzerland just beat brazil that's huge for all switzerland a massive result so that means now that we don't know who's going to win so we're going to simulate it all, to, all the way to the end and find out who wins our first subscriber world cup for the month of february let's go simulate all the way to the end and uh germany won against switzerland so germany was a triple entry that was dennis um Tony is bad at football and Daniel doesn't know how to kick a ball. I have a feeling that Tony and Daniel are the same accounts because they're both like sort of uh, making fun of someone for not being able to play football. I have a feeling they're the same accounts, but it doesn't matter anyway. But I mean, yeah, <laughs> like a triple entry anyway. And uh, well done to you guys for winning with Germany. I am more interested though in Switzerland coming second and that's huge for Switzerland. That is really, really huge. And um, congratulations to Fernando Pestana for finishing second. You came so close to winning against the odds against some of these bigger teams. That would have been massive, but just fell down at the final hurdle. So let's have a look and see how it all unraveled then. You all know who you are. Um, so we got... Australia losing to Poland 3-2, Switzerland beating Brazil 2-1, Canada beating Russia 1-0, France beating Scotland 3-0, and then uh, Switzerland went on to beat Poland 2-1, and Canada beat France 2-0, that's huge for Canada, and then we had Switzerland beating Canada 2-1. So the third place playoff winner is Patrick Mealy, so congratulations to you, Italy won the third place playoff and you are representing uh, Italy, so congratulations to you for the third place medal. And Canada, who was in fourth place, that was the triple entry. Wasabi1982 won, Ryan Bromhead and Cutter Historical. Well done for getting Canada all the way into the third place playoff. Reading right down just to finish it off, USA beat Syria 3-0, Italy beat Wales 2-0, Germany beat Moldova 3-0, Netherlands beat Fiji 2-0, and then Italy squeezed by USA 2-1, Germany beat Netherlands 2-0, and then Germany went on to beat Italy, and then won the final, and then Italy went on to win the third place playoff. So that was your Subscriber World Cup, your first one. So to the people that got eliminated, we're about to go into our second chance one. Um, I'm only doing this in February because we had a lot of entries and because it's the month of love and I love you guys so much I guess. Okay we are here with the second chance subscriber world cup so these are the 16 teams that got eliminated plus the other entrants that didn't get into the first one so um, I'm gonna read out the names as quick as possible um, if you are interested you can skip ahead if you want to but the group A is all bot teams they're all bot teams so they don't count they're all bot teams and in group b the cook islands is also a bot team we had to have five bot teams because there wasn't quite enough entries to do it so if a bot team wins this then that would be incredible because they're all the worst teams in the world so they can't win it unless something ridiculous happens so in group b we had mali represented by conrad uh austria who was eliminated in the first one that was f1 kid um and then estonia that was represented by um Alf alfie wheeler and then we have kyrgyzstan in group c that was um dando 1201 azerbaijan that was unanamel thailand it was also in the first one but got eliminated that was england ball gaming and montenegro was one that didn't get through. XP, Rewarder, 248 Elite. Group D, we have Ecuador, represented by C4 Goes Boom. Argentina, represented by Sabic Pekovic. Macau, represented by Matthew Murphy. 
Indonesia who got knocked out in the first one. That was Mohamed uh, Molina. Uh, group E, Port Andorra, that's me, that's Tobaloco. Uh, Portugal, that was Austin Hayhurst who got eliminated in the first one. Morocco, who didn't actually get through, that was Irish Gamer. Suriname, who also didn't get through, was um, Fintan. Uh, group F, the Seychelles. Uh, that was uh, Palomo, who got eliminated in the first one. Malaysia, also elim eliminated in the first one. That was Mass Football TV. Uruguay, elim eliminated in the first one. That was uh, Edu Games 4000. And Chad, also eliminated in the first one. That was the double entry, Foot Fee, and Ready to Step. Group G, we have Uganda, who didn't get through in the first one. Um, who didn't go into it, sorry. That was um, Marco San Santangelo. Uh, Serbia, who got eliminated in the first one, that was Mario Maraquin. Honduras, also eliminated in the first one, that was, um, ooh, where is it, where is it, uh, Joshua Rodriguez. Uh, UAE, who was also eliminated in the first one, FB7 Games. England, in Group H, was eliminated in the first one, that was Eminem Gaming and Arthur Plays, my United fan. Mexico, who were also eliminated in the first one, uh, Sad Joel and Retro Sports Nigeria. Also um, eliminated in the first one, that was represented by Bulgaria and Chile, who didn't get into the first one, actually didn't get in there, was Crocs 2007. Now you all know your names, I'm representing England, well I'm following England, sorry, I'm representing Andorra, but yeah, let's get into this and just get this out of the way and see who wins the second uh, chance subscriber World Cup. Right, okay, so let's just go through these as quick as possible just to find out who the winner is. So England versus Mexico, let's go and see who wins that one. It's England with a 3-1 win. You all know who you are right now, so we'll follow it up in the group stages. England versus Nigeria, uh, who wins that one? Probably England, yeah, another 3-1. And Chile versus England, uh, who's going to win that one? Let's see. It was Chile, 2-0. Okay, that's uh, quite surprising. Okay, let's go into the group stages and find out what happened. Okay, okay, okay. So Group A, it doesn't matter because they're a load of bots, but San Marino and Anguilla go through in that one, represented by nobody. Uh, group B, Austria and Mali go through in that one. Group C, Azerbaijan and Montenegro go through. Thailand missing out by goal difference. Ecuador and Argentina go through in Group D. Here's the surprising one. Andorra and Portugal go through. So my team came top of the group stage in Group E. I don't think that's ever happened before. Group F, Uruguay and Chad go through in that one. Group G, Uganda and Serbia go through. And in Group H, England and Mexico go through, which sets up around the 16 with San Marino versus Mali, Azerbaijan versus Argentina, uh, Austria versus Anguilla, uh, Ecuador versus Montenegro, uh, Andorra versus Chad, um, Uganda versus Mexico, Uruguay versus Portugal, and England versus Serbia. Okay, so there's there is a potential here for an upset, like a big a big team getting knocked out and a little team winning the final. How amazing would that be? Okay, let's simulate to England's match day and get this over and done with. England versus Serbia. There is a potential for an upset here. Can it happen? No, it can. England literally just bulldozed them. Okay, in Portugal versus England. Let's go. Let's see who wins this one. Okay, so England eliminated. So we're going to find out who our winner is. I reckon it's either going to be Uruguay or Portugal because they're the only two big teams left in the whole tournament, I think. So let's simulate it and find out who wins it. Oh no, it's Argentina. <laughs> I forgot about Argentina. Argentina won the second chance subscriber World Cup. That was represented by Savic Pekovic, so well done to you. Uh, you've won quite a few recently with bigger teams, so I'd love you to pick a small team. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You can pick whoever you want, but yeah, congratulations to you. Uh, Portugal, that was represented by Austin Hayhurst, so unlucky you did get eliminated in the first subscriber World Cup, and then you came here and pushed it all the way to the final. Um, let's find out who came third and fourth then. Reading left down, we have Andorra losing to Chad 2-1. Uh, Uganda beating Mexico 2-1. That's a huge result for Ga Uganda. Um, Mali beating San Marino 3-0. Argentina only beating Azerbaijan 1-0. Then we got Uganda beating Chad 2-0. Uh, Mali losing to Argentina 2-1. And then Argentina stomping Uganda 5-1 in the semi-final. 
and then obviously Argentina won the final against Portugal. Um, our third place playoff winner was Montenegro. That was represented by XP Rewarder 248 Elite. So congratulations, you get the third place playoff medal. And commiserations to Uganda who finished fourth. That was represented by Marco San Angelo. So congratulations to you for getting all the way to the fourth place position with Uganda. Wrapping this thing up then. So Portugal versus Uruguay ended with a 2-1 victory to Portugal. Uh, obviously England beat Serbia 3-0. Uh, Austria beat Anguilla 4-0. Uh, Montenegro beat Ecuador 3-2. Then Portugal beat England on penalties 5-4, Montenegro beat Austria 2-1, and then Portugal beat Montenegro 1-0, and obviously you know what happened in the final game. So that was your mammoth Subscriber World Cup for February. I got everybody in that commented on the video, so I hope that you're all satisf satisfied with your positions and stuff. Um, if you did enjoy it, give it a like and subscribe. Keep it local as always. Comment your next nations for March. And I'll see you again for the next video.